Hello everyone, this is Ali from Myros Communication. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix black skin problem at your Sony Via Notebook. This is not a common black skin problem in this machine. All the light is working, even I can hear the noise of the hard drive, the cooler is working, but only the display is not working. I not see nothing, even I can't hear the sound of the windows. Let me show you how. This is one of the problem and one of the way we can fix this one I put the power connector with this notebook and after putting the power connector as you see the orange light is on that means the battery is working here you see the green light I will click the power button now for on the notebook and as you see the green light is on is blinking okay now you can see the green light is on, the laptop is on and I put near and as you can hear noise of the fan and all other thing and I not see nothing at the skin the problem could be very first I'm gonna show you how you can check this one a LCD external monitor could be LCD lead or any old monitor as this you can use this process or your TV too in these days in the TVs we have VGA port VGA cables are something as this as you see and all the notebook laptop all of them they come with the VGA port you must know I already connect one side to this monitor and another side I have here so the another side I'm gonna put here in this notebook for example I'm gonna put this one in this now and I'm gonna on this and as you see I not see nothing at the display it should pass in this case we can realize one thing and we can understand one thing if we have any problem with the display the brightener of the display that is called inverter is gone we could see the computer is on in the external display in this case we not see nothing in this case we could understand the problem is internal could be OS problem could be motherboard problem it would not be hard disk problem because if it's hard disk problem you will see something here is right and the system is failed or something if you see something a cursor is blinking or something those sort of thing if you see that means you have hard disk problem now I'm gonna show you how you can fix this one this is one of the way this could be helpful for you okay turn this off remove all the cable is connected to this one remove the power cable too close this put something down put the machine on this and remove the battery put, put the lock one side and remove the battery first you have to remove this two screw from here okay after that you have to remove this box this cover ok now remove this cover if you see your RAM is here in some cover here or there you have to take out RAM here I not see any RAM here I have one screw small in this model especially I will take this screw out okay and now you have to flip and what you have to do the keyboard should come out by itself as you see as this so much gently because three screw let me show you one more time 
two screw of here and one screw of here those three hold the keyboard when you remove those the keyboard should come out as this keyboard is connected with the ribbon to the motherboard move as this and you will see the ram here in this model especially let me put a bit light as you see the ram is here all you need to do hold two side lose those clip and the ram should come out or pop out as this take this ram out as you see this is ddr2 ram i think you can put another ram as you see i have ddr3 ram they are always different you can close two ram together as you see the whole are two different places that means it's ddr3 this is a ddr2 one more ddr2 as you see you can do one thing if you don't have any ram doesn't matter you don't need to be worried you just need to clean your ram a bit for example I clean the edge of the RAM, be careful, hold RAM as this, clean a bit, you can put this back and check your PC is working or not. If it's not working, open one more time, put a new RAM, another RAM you have from another PC but should be the DDR2, if you have DDR2, DDR2, if you have DDR3, put DDR3, if you have old machine, should be DDR, normal DDR RAM, you have to put a DDR RAM, but normally when you clean, first you have to clean the same RAM that you have inside. And put that back again let me show you a bit fine a bit closer as this and you have to put the ram as this and it has some as you see some lock this hole should go at this the place of the lock and after that you have to put gentle pressure and push inside it will go and it will make ticking sound the clips are properly adjust you should be careful in this after that put back all the thing as it is close this one first we need to put put all the screw as this place one was at the middle and this cover you have to put fine at its place put the battery back again at its place and let's see it's working or not let's see it's working or not And is awesome it's working as a magic most of the time we have this sort of problem something happened with the RAM and we have black skin and the PC is not working so this is one way you can fix your black skin to Sony via notebook or any other notebook if you like this video please do subscribe if you have any question leave me as a comment I will try to answer you as much fast as possible as always for more information go to the iris communication www.iriscommunication.com one more thing I have so many videos for repairing black skin. I have videos on HP, SR, I have one. I have Toshiba notebook how you can repair the black skin. The process are different from one to another. So if you have another model, another brand of notebook, if you have same sort of problem, check those videos. Have a nice evening. Ciao.